This is the Code in Action video for chapter 1. In this first chapter of the book, we set up the development environment with Visual Studio Code and Veed. To get the code examples, go to the GitHub repository linked in the book and click on Code here to clone the repository. You can either use the URL or download the zip or use GitHub Desktop. I'm going to use the command line, so I'm going to copy this URL and then paste it into a terminal with the git clone command. So now we execute this command and then go into the folder and the chapter one folder inside it. So now we can open this folder with Visual Studio Code, either by executing it from the command line or by opening Visual Studio Code and opening the folder from within it. As you can see, this opened our folder in Visual Studio Code. If you get any warnings about uh, trusting the authors, just press yes, I trust the authors. And if you get a pop-up here about a Git repository, just ignore it. So now we can get started running our project. First, open a new terminal. Now, inside the terminal, type npm install to install the project's dependencies. Now, as you can see, you might get this uh, husky error that the .git folder can't be found. To solve this, simply type git init. Now we have successfully initialized the repository and Husky can find it. Now we can run npm install again. And as you can see, it runs successfully. So now also check if all your extensions are installed. So we installed the Docker extension, ESLint and MongoDB for VS code and Prettier for now. So just make sure that they are all installed now. If they are all installed, you can run npm run dev to start the dev server in Vite. And you can now either command and click on this URL or copy and paste it into a browser. So I command and click the URL and it opened it in my browser here. And you can see that we have Vite and React running and we have a button here, which when we click increases the count. So our Vite project is set up successfully. We can now check and verify that Husky is working properly as well. For that, we go into VS Code, we edit an existing file. So we go to source, app, and then just change something here. Save the file. And now we create a new split terminal here. We add the file that we just updated via Git. Now we try making a commit message. As you can see, this is not a correct commit message because it is missing a subject and type. So now let's make this a proper commit message to see if that works. This is commit lint working here. We could see here quickly that it was running ESLint and Prettier and that all of that was applied fine. And now it is asking us to make the commit. And because I have commit signing turning on, it's also asking me for my SSH key. So I'm just going to authorize that. And now we have made our first commit and we can now push it to a repository and be sure that all the files are linted and prettified using Prettier. So as you can see, in this chapter, we created the basis for all our further projects.